instead of just like leading a squad, you can have like an entire like platoon running around and stuff. Oh, wow. It's really cool. I suppose you're not limited to the Xbox controller for that anymore. No, yeah, it's all, um, the PC port's pretty good. It runs smoothly, at least for me, and uh, the controls are easy enough. Pretty intuitive. Detail settings one too many times. I don't know. Are they set too low? Eh, nah, it'll be alright. I'm just complaining. <laughs> um, there's a uh, in-game hotkey you can use to like affect or to change the uh, the 3D textures, like the quality. Yeah. The shift bracket keys was gonna help. I use those on like really big scenarios if it's too, um, like if it gets a little laggy, you can drop the uh, effects a little bit, make it run smoother. Nico's missing the commander. That's not cool. <laughs> Is it a German vehicle? It's a CV9035, whatever that is. I think it's that, uh, British kind of infantry fighting vehicle thing. Mm -hmm. Must be a manpower seven. And it's a European army. Budget cuts. <laughs> yep. Sacrificial pawns. Move up here. Man, look at this terrain. Holy crap. So I'm driving up the side of a cliff. Yeah, they, it's <laughs> they, just a big ridge.
for that. And these guys. Go like that. That's why everything was so weird. I zoomed in slightly. Oh yeah. Bumped one of the uh, zoom keys. I don't really use those that often. Yeah, I use them when I'm shooting video, but most of the time I forget I've done anything with them. Anything wacky in this vehicle? No. Yeah, some more bullets. Everybody gets more bullets today. <laughs> it's free bullet Friday. Hey, there's no such thing as overkill. Nope. There's only enough and almost enough. <laughs> and there is no almost in reality. <laughs> You said you have all the um, modules for uh, Battle for Normandy? Yep. Do you have a favorite? Uh, not really. When I think about it, I just kind of put them all together. <laughs> it's just, you know, Battle for Normandy, the definitive edition. Yeah. I mean, as far as editions go, I don't know. I like the fact that U.S. Airborne is in there. And the Market Garden one is probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah, I always wished there was more, more, um, there was more content that kind of covered the actual, like, the Battle of Normandy, like, through the hedgerows and stuff. 
uh, like a St. Lowe map or something. Oh. Yeah, if it kind of extended more out through both the hedgerows and like Operation Cobra, I think that would have been nice. Yeah. Do you know about the, um, the like community made battle pack that's being made that covers the Battle of Aracourt right now? Yeah, that's already out. It is? Yeah, I think, uh... The... I think one of the missions is out. I don't think... Like, uh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, gonna, yeah, they're yeah, right. making. Yeah, I, I play-tested that for, uh... I forget who's making it. Rinaldi, I think. Yeah, I play-tested played... one of them. Or the, um... I forget if he's making one or two. Did the, the one you play-tested was basically, like... It was Two the opening you had to take. The opening scenario, yeah. Yeah. You had to take the town and then advance onto the ridge. Yeah. Oh man, that mission was great. Yeah, it made for a good YouTube. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I'm excited for uh for all of those missions to come out. uploading. the one. Yeah. Playlist starting concurrent. There. That's the, uh, I got four parts out of it, and, uh, it's my playthrough of Duel in the Mist. Oh, nice. I'll check that out when I do my turn. 